Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to control your home using simple NFC tags. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we're gonna be messing around with iOS 13 today and the updated Shortcuts app. I have here a bag of NFC tags. They're tiny little tags. They have adhesive on one side and inside is an NFC chip. We're gonna use that to read it from our phone and control our home, whether it's simply toggling off a light switch or running entire scenes and automations around our home with multiple conditionals. So let's start off easy and take a look at how to turn a light on and off with just a simple tap from your iPhone. If you wanna do this project yourself, you're gonna to need to get yourself some NFC tags. Now there are tons available, many should work, and they just need to be blank. You don't have to do anything fancy with them. And you can order them off Amazon. The ones that we used, we'll put a link down below in the description. They're ultra cheap and you get a pile of them. So just follow the link in the description if you wanna try this for yourself. It is extremely easy to do. And of course, we're gonna walk you through all the steps. So let's go ahead and get started. Now Apple's Shortcuts app has always been extremely powerful, but with iOS 13, it gets even more capable. In fact, they've added an entirely new automation tab within the app and the app comes pre-installed on your device once you update. You no longer have to download it from the App Store. Now, when you go to that automation tab, you can create any number of standard HomeKit rules that you used to do from the Home app. You can still do that in the Home app or you can do it here in Shortcuts. But there's also a new option to create personal rules that are based on your device, such as when it connects to a Wi-Fi network or in our case, when it taps an NFC tag. These little automations will run in the background whenever it happens. So if I connect to a Wi-Fi network, to a Bluetooth device, tap an NFC tag, as soon as that happens, it'll run this automation. And in our case, it's gonna control our smart home. So let's go ahead and open up the Shortcuts app and walk you through the steps. So once you launch the new Shortcuts app, go to the Automation tab and tap on the plus button in that top right-hand corner. Then create a new personal automation. Here, you're gonna go down to the bottom and choose NFC as the automation trigger. Then tap on the scan button and hold your phone near your NFC tag. It'll automatically scan the ID and just enter a name, such as the device you're naming or just an ID number. Then tap on the next button in the top right corner and we're gonna add an action. In this case, it's the automation that's gonna run. So you could run any sort of automation from this NFC tag. You could make it call somebody, send a message, play some music, whatever you wanna do. But in this case, in this video, we're going to be looking at HomeKit rules. So we're gonna search for home right from the top and hit control our home from our list of presented options. Sometimes it'll replace our home with whatever you've named your home in the home app. So it could be control Jeff's home or whatever you've named it. Then choose the scene or accessory you wanna control, such as turning on the bedtime scene when you tap this tag. Then hit next and you're done. That's really it, you just tap on the NFC tag and this command will run. Now if you wanted to do something different, like perhaps you wanted to control a light. So whenever you tap on your light with your phone, the light turns on, tap it again, the light turns off. Still easy to do, but in this case we have to use an if statement to control it. So here you can see ours. If the living room table lamp is on, it's going to turn the lamp off. Otherwise, it'll turn the lamp on. You can get even fancier if you want to control that lamp. Instead of just turning on and off with a tap, you could have it do more based on the time of day. Just use additional if statements. So in our case, if the living room table lamp is on, good, go to the next step, put another if statement in there. If it is past 9 a.m., set it to bright 100% white, and if it's past 5 p.m., set it to only 80% and a warm white and set up a bright blue white. Those are just some of the things you can do with just a simple lamp, but you don't have to stop there. You can control entire rooms. So perhaps one by a bedside table turns off your bedroom lights and turns your bedroom lights on. Or you could do what we did. We put one outside by the fence as we leave our home. Actually, put it at waist level. So whenever I walk out of my house, I can just tap my phone to it as I'm walking, the lines will shut, the thermostat goes into away mode, the lights turn off, the door locks, everything gets set as I'm leaving the house. And it reverses when I come home. I come home, give a little hip check when my arms are full of groceries, with my phone in my pocket, it's half the NFC tag, the door unlocks, lights turn on, and the thermostat goes back into home mode. There are so many different things you can do using both the new Shortcuts app as well as NFC tags. 
And what we've thrown out here today are just a couple options for you. There are so many different things you can do and I'd love to hear your ideas. So go get some NFC tags, download the iOS 13 beta, if you want to try the beta or wait till this fall when it finally releases and start creating your own shortcuts then share them below down in the comments for me and everyone else to take a look at i can't wait to hear you guys come up with and let me know of any great ideas over on twitter at andrew osu hey everyone did you guys like that video be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow apple insider on all social media channels if you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.